Hello, I'm JW, and uh, more cheapo lamps from China, and these uh, are related in a fashion to those other ones. And these came in somewhat better boxes, at least they are made of cardboard and not just folded paper. And these particular ones, I've only got three of these, they're the ones that have that sort of rotating uh, lens type thing on the top. So of course as it turns it uh, projects a pattern of various colours all over the room. And these are the uh, E27 screw fitting again, and again run on the uh, 220 volts enclosed on the box, although they'll perfectly well run on 240 as well. So uh, let's uh, plug one of these in and see how much power this claims. Now the uh, box on the top here does have a label, and this actually claims uh, 3 watts, and that's actually what these were sold as. So uh, let's see if that's actually true or not. So here's the thing, and it's all plastic, and then it's just a uh, plastic lens with the rotating bit in the middle. And of course the uh, usual fitting on the bottom. So uh, I've got the uh, power meter here, so just uh, put this in here and see what kind of power it actually uses. Okay, well there we go, it's actually 2.94 watts, so just under the 3 watts, so at least that's uh, reasonably credible. And these have three LEDs inside, the red, green and blue, so you get the pattern of various colours being projected out of it. So uh, reasonably accurate then, uh, say it's just under the 3 watts, being around some of that's going to be for the motor as well, but nevertheless uh, far more accurate than those other ones that we had uh, the other week there. And uh, so if you look at the top there, so it's got those various different colours uh, shining away in the side. Now there's not a lot to these, uh, just have a quick look inside, and the top here just uh, fixed on with this single screw, so just remove that. And as with the others, these are going to be taken apart and uh, put into something else. So here we've got that sort of faceted uh, lens type thing on the top. And inside here you can just see they've got those three different coloured LEDs, the red, green and blue. Just screw down onto the uh, plastic base. And this white ring here does actually just pull off, it's not uh, fixed in any way. And then this sort of greeny coloured one also just pulls apart. And we can see inside there, just got the electric motor with the two extremely thin wires coming out. They're just connected across uh, one of the LEDs here. And then the two wires there, the red and the white, just go down into a little power supply module down in the bottom. So a little transformer there, there'll be a switching type supply. And then we've just got the two wires for the mains at the bottom. So uh, very straightforward things. And so these have the three different uh, LEDs there. And if we turn the actual spindle, it's uh, because it's tapped across the LED there, we can actually uh, make that light up by uh, rotating the spindle, so it's just generating a little bit of power there. So it happens to be on the blue one in this case. And just plug that in there, you can see you've got those three uh, different coloured LEDs in there, so the uh, red, green and blue. And on this one the green seems to be uh, somewhat dimmer than the red and blue, no doubt due to the way that these things are made. But a very simple thing, so just three there and that just uh, fits on top give the various patterns. Now those three and the uh, four we had from the other week, these sort of globe uh, type efforts, are all going to be fitted inside a single light fixture. And uh, because it can't be bothered to spend any money, this is actually going to be an old light fixture. And it's actually a disused floodlight, which uh, has been basically knocking around for years. And it was actually removed from some old installation a considerable time ago. And it's not one of those B&Q things you could buy, although it is a halogen variety. And it's actually this device here, which uh, used to be a 1000 watt halogen floodlight. What a colossal waste of energy. And as you can see, it's a pretty uh, substantial piece of equipment. In this cast alloy case with the massive bracket on the back there. And you hear from the rattling that the insides are totally smashed and broken. And uh, basically going to take the insides out of this and install all of these uh, horrible lights, or the bits from them at least, inside the front of this thing along with a couple of other items which we don't yet have. Now this floodlight, uh, as you can see here, is uh, a rather substantial piece of equipment. And say so this had been on the uh, wall in someone's garden for several decades, and was removed because it hadn't worked for years. And I actually removed it from there several years ago, and so it's basically been knocking around in the shed for considerable time. And uh, as you can see on the front here, sort of glass front there, and it would have had a uh, 1000 watt halogen bulb in there. So the linear one between the ends there, and we can see the remains of that actually inside. This is some kind of cast alloy, 
and it's a bit uh, pitted and disgusting. And there's some uh, remains of garden creatures and goodness knows what else all over it. So clearly it's going to need a fair amount of cleaning up. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we can probably fit the uh, required LED lights inside and then that'll make a horrendous and despicable fixture to throw out all kinds of colours and swirling patterns. Now, uh, this particular light here, as you can see if we just uh, rotate it, was actually made by GEC and naturally made in England. So, uh, let's have a closer look in there. So here's the logo, so General Electric Company and made in England. And the lid of the actual terminal box here does seem to be made out of steel. As unfortunately that's gone rather rusty, whereas the rest of it is some sort of alloy, which obviously hasn't. And a couple of screws there. And here's the original mains flex, and this is exactly how it actually was in the garden. And as you can see, the flex is totally ruined and destroyed. And so this is actually how it was. All I did was just literally cut off the end of that, as there was no point in trying to unscrew this. And you see it's completely wrecked. Obviously it hadn't worked for many years. Those three silver wires there, by the way, should have the individual red, green and blue insulation on them. As you can see, they're all just basically uh, twisted together, shorted out and uh, blown the supply. And then it was just basically left like that, hanging up for a couple of decades. Now the cover is actually hinged here, just got these two uh, pins that go into the parts there. And uh, I've got some uh, text embossed here, a bit difficult to see, but this one uh, says uh, keep lamp horizontal. And this one is uh, switch off before relamping. Fairly obvious, so you would of course not want to be opening it while the power was connected. And the cover here is actually fixed with these uh, spring clips, so no tools needed to actually open it. Just undo those two there, and then the whole cover just hinges open. And you can see how filthy the glass actually is there. And this seal, of course, is uh, long gone. It will need to be removed and replaced. Although this is not going to be used outside, of course, so uh, that's just not waterproof, it doesn't really matter. And inside here, you see, we've got the remains of the uh, 1000 watt halogen tube there with bits of filament uh, hanging out the end. That would have fitted between there. There's uh, several pieces have broken off. Now, you can actually still buy these, or at least you could uh, fairly uh, recently. Not something I ever looked for. But uh, of course, who on earth would buy such a thing? I mean, 1000 watts to give out a uh, fairly bright light. And of course, these days, LEDs and the like are far more efficient. And we've got this uh, sort of uh, probably aluminium uh, reflector inside, so we'll probably reuse at least parts of that. But of course the old uh, lamp holders in here are going to be completely removed and thrown away. So a quick look at those lights there. And those ones again very cheap, only a couple of pounds each, including delivery. And we'll be really, uh, looking at putting those into that box uh, at a later time. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching.